Now, the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Jason Mwiki, has lambasted persons he described as political harlots in River State, saying we will continue to defeat them. We could disclose this at Thanksgiving, organized by the minority leader of the House of Representatives, Kinsley Chinda, to mark his birthday, his new position in the National Assembly. We could record how he came under pressure in 2023 to choose his successor, saying that Chinda would have been one of the very best he would have presented as his successor. We could call on the people of the state to keep supporting the Speaker and members of the House saying it was not possible for the executive to crave independence and try to deny the lawmakers of their independence. Pressure came on me. Pressure came at the time we wanted who would succeed me. Pressure came. One of the very best I would have presented would have been okay, Chinda. One of the very best. Don't forget people going from one place to the other. They are forming this. They are allowed. Don't dissipate your energy. Don't worry yourself. The time will come. We will say, who knows the game? You play the game. Leave these political harlots. Leave these political challenges. I will continue to defeat them. Now, we could challenge his uh, detractors and those he described as experts are petition writers to drag him to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, informing them that he had no immunity. Now, he said those are uh, posing as leaders in the state uh, to deceive the state government like the wherewither and the capacity to withstand his team. To talk to the assembly people. They should not be independent. But you, you want to be independent. Continue to be independent. Amen. Continue to serve the democracy of Nigeria. Amen. If they like, let them do as they are doing. They should go to any court they have in the state. Let them continue. Let them continue. We will never be intimidated by that. So let nobody be afraid. Every day, they said they are doing Thanksgiving. They were unlucky. They didn't show this hand early. When we are finished winning for them, from, from, from pulling units to Tabuna, to Tabuna to Kodavapi, they did not come. Oh, they want to remove them in Supreme Court. Can you imagine? That's how they collect money from them. And they appointed somebody as a judicial uh, consultant. Shame, shame, shame. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.